Hi guys, welcome to a new video. Today we are going to see how to overclock a processor. Basically by overclocking a processor you can increase its performance without any extra charge. So let's get started. So I am going to take a baseline test that how a processor performs in a stock speed. So to benchmark we are going to use Cinebench R15 let's launch it and you can see right here it is at stock speed that is 3.5 GHz so I am going to run the benchmark I will skip till it ends so guys it has finished and as you guys can see let it focus it's giving a score of 387 and at 3.5 gigahertz so let's now overclock it to overclock we'll have to restart the computer so I'm going to basically restart it It's restarting. After restarting, I will have to enter the BIOS. Okay, I will the I will enter the BIOS now by repeatedly pressing delete. I will enter the BIOS. Okay, it has entered the BIOS now, as you guys can see, and again it is at 3.5 gigahertz. Okay, let's now go to overclocking settings and adjust the CPU ratio. I will overclock it to 4.3 GHz because I know it is stable at that frequency. But I will suggest you guys to slowly increase the frequency until it becomes unstable and then find the sweet spot. Okay, I will disable MMD Turbo Core technology. And let's overclock the DRAM also. I will overclock it to 1866 MHz. You can see my current RAM speed is 1600 MHz. I will overclock it to 1866. And let's go to DRAM voltage. And I will take it to one point let's take it to 1.688 okay and I will go to CPU voltage and increase it also Let's give it 1.323. Okay. And remember to disable all the CPU features for the first time. If you find the stable state, then you can enable AMD Cool and Quiet and Core C6 state. That will save some energy. I will save and exit now. Yes, it will restart now. Okay, guys, it has booted back. I'm using a aftermarket CPU cooler here, but if you guys are using a stock cooler, then you might not be able to hit this much frequency. 
because your temperature might be get to a warm now let's benchmark it again As you guys can see it is at 4.3 yards. I will run the CPU test. I will again skip to the end. It has finished guys. And as you can see it is a giving a score of 473 and that is pretty high compared to last time. So there you have it guys. Overclocking a processor can improve its performance significantly. So thanks for watching. Till next time, this is Kostov. Signing off for now.